I had them standing upright in my art cart. So they all fell to the one end. And I know better because these break so easy. But I did. <laughs> they seem like they're okay. These ones were broken before. I kind of like the pose of this little guy. He kind of looks like he's maybe given a partial stink eye. And I like the way his legs are not typical bird stance. Just because of the irregular shape he's standing on. So I think maybe I might do this one. My Tamagotchis are going off. I've been playing uh, with Tamagotchis for a few weeks now. Yeah, he seems pretty good. He's full of hearts. Sometimes there'll be someone out here and give him a present or something. I haven't painted in a really long time. And let's, oh wow. I completely forgot I'd done this and didn't paint it. I knew I didn't. Um, June 7th. So today is August 1st and I want to start Avian August. Um, I'm going to try and do two birds to a page, but I want to talk a little bit about art and mental health, which is really weird to talk about, but I'm, I'm kind of struggling. And so I just thought it would be nice to kind of talk about, um, kind of some feelings and thoughts I'm having and, um, Maybe see if there's anyone else out there who can identify with what I'm going through. I think I need to make this a little bit sharper. I usually like to use three, but I think I'm going to do four today. This is the pencil extender from Fair Rule, and it was part of a Kickstarter last year, and it's so pretty, uh, from Maker's Cabinet. So it's a bit hard to see, but this is my American Goldfinch. I'm going to loosely draw the branches just to give him something to stand on so he's not standing in space because he's not a space cadet or astronaut or anything like that so it's been a while since i painted as i mentioned and um sometimes i just need a break and i'm sure as an artist if you're an artist um or anything in life i guess uh you would understand that too i'm sure that happens for everybody and I feel like lately it's just happened a lot more than not. And the pandemic has been really crazy and locked down and all that stuff. And I'm through it and we're good. Uh, and I thought it was okay. But I'm dealing with some life things that are happening in my personal life that um, is okay. It's just transitional periods and they're hard. Um, and I'm doing my best to do my best. And so it's been hard to be motivated to do art and during this time because of, I have a lot on my plate and a lot on my mind and it, it's, um, I don't even know what to say about it. It's, it's affected me more than I thought it would. And I think it's affected me in ways that I didn't understand. I thought that I was okay, but then I noticed there were these, these empty spots in my life, like not doing art and not being motivated to even do art. And I understand being burnt out on art in general. That happens to me and I've went through that before and I take a break, I take a small break and then I come back into it. I'm trying to really push hard to, <laughs> to do better. Um, but this time it's different, it feels different. I'm even scared to draw this bird. I've just, it's, it's so hard when you take a break from art and then um, you come back and it's, uh, I feel like I want this wing to be different actually. And you are, um, scared to make that first painting. And if you've ever went through that, I'm sure, I'm sure you would know what I'm saying. Uh, and it's like you worry that you're going to forget how to do art and, um, it's not going to be as good as your old art. I noticed that if I've taken breaks and if I'm not ready to come back and I try to, it just is not good. My art turns out flat and I'm dissatisfied with it. And so I really have to make sure that when I come back, it's, it's, I'm ready. And so today I'm doing the Avian August challenge. I did this last year 
and I really loved it. And I've been, the way I get myself back into art is I start looking at YouTube videos and I start looking at artists on Instagram and just seeing what they're doing and just trying to get motivated to see art and um, the whole idea of uh, thinking about it and missing it. And I have been. I've The last couple days I've really have been anxious to get back to it, I think. And I've been busy as well. So uh, here I am now and I'm trying my best to... <laughs> to do something that I'm proud of. Uh, but anyways, it's been hard. Things are really tough right now and I'm trying my best to, to do my best and um, that's tough right now. And so I'm really struggling. And then I was sitting down to get ready to film this video, or actually, you know what? I wasn't gonna film this video. I was just gonna paint and I got a notification in my email. I was just checking my email quickly before I went online to find a picture to paint. And I got an email notification from YouTube that said I'm dropping below my thresholds in the partner YouTube partner program for monetization. And if I don't um, push that up into the threshold it's supposed to be within 30 days, I would have to be dropped from the program and reapply. And I, that really set me back. Just the timing is crazy because I'm just sitting down to try and, and do art again. And I, um, it, it was hard. That's, it was really hard. And I thought, you know, I just want to give up. And then I sat there and I, oh man, I just took a breath. And then I thought, you know what, let's film this. I haven't filmed in a long time. Maybe I need to do that too. So that's why I'm filming this video. I wasn't going to. I like to share my sketchbook progress um, on YouTube. I like to use my videos for that, and I haven't been making as many videos as I normally do. But again, like I've just been struggling so hard, and and in ways that I didn't realize, because there's these blocks in my life that I'm these voids, I guess, that I'm normally more active, and I'm I'm not being active, and um, this bird paw is a real mess, or whatever they are, bird claw, yeah. It's in the distance. It's hard to see. There's some spikes and stuff, so I can't really see the details of his, his little claws, and I'm just going to leave it. I'm just trying to get something on paper, and hopefully tomorrow will be better. Who knows? Maybe today will be okay. Um, but yeah, I decided to just try to turn it around and do something that is um, better. And so here I am, and I'm filming a video, and I'm painting a bird, and I'm going to love it. It's going to be great. I'm trying so hard. <laughs> trying so hard. I keep saying that, but yeah. It's weird for me to even be saying these things and speaking about it, but... And so, I don't know. Maybe... I don't know if does anybody have any advice for pushing ahead. I don't... I think, I guess it's different for everybody. And with art, it's... For me, it's just... Um, I have to it I have to want to do it and I know I think about it and I feel guilty when I'm not doing art. I guess uh change up what I'm doing. Um I've been doing some crocheting the last couple days, like last week and into this week. I found a I found a really awesome video by Cheyenne Barton and she had done like little coasters. I don't have any down here to show. I'll put a picture in the video so you can see some that I've been working on and I really have enjoyed making these. And so that's creative and it's a different type of outlet. Like I'm not painting, but I'm doing something creative. So I'm always, you know, in that capacity, yes, I'm always creating. Uh, but painting is the thing that I feel like I'm drawn the most to and I feel like um, when I do take a break, I feel guilty about it. But I'm happy to be forcing myself to do this today, I guess. I feel like I'm forcing myself because I just, I don't know if I'm really ready. I'm trying to be ready, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready. I just need to do it because I think that, you know, the hardest step is actually doing something. Once you start, then, then you think of ways you can improve and, and you get more motivated to to do better, I guess. This is not anything fancy. This bird is not fancy. I have put a little bit of effort into him, but I feel like he could be a better bird. He's not his living his best bird life, but his purpose in life is his best bird life because that is helping me tremendously. 
This is the Etcher palette. Uh, I don't have... The, I think this is 32 or 36 uh, wells. It's really pretty. Really pretty? Listen to me. I'm just talking. It's really awesome. I love this palette. And I thought that the wells would be um, a hindrance being so small. I'm actually going to put a little bit of green under his... in the shadows of him because I feel like he has a little bit of shadows here. I thought it would be hard to paint um, with the wells being so tiny and not being able to just splash in the paint and slop to hub as I would say and be messy with the paint but it's actually been really nice. I love this palette and I, I took it on vacation with me. That's something else I didn't talk about but I meant to mention. So um, before I stopped painting I, it, I went on vacation and then when I came back I just didn't have motivation to paint which is kind of weird I guess. But vacation, sometimes you need a reset too. So uh, I tried to take my paints on vacation and paint, but I didn't. I took them and I painted for like five minutes. And I did two pages, as you've seen at the beginning of the video, and I didn't finish them. And I feel guilty about that. And I do want to finish, like, I want to do a diary of all the places I went. So I'm definitely going to jump back into that. Uh, I want to go through my my written diary and do a do a, a sketch like this for each day that picks out some items uh, so that's what I'm going to work on if I ever get back my motivation to paint but um yeah so I took my journal on vacation and I wanted to paint and I just didn't and I'm not really I was kind of disappointed that I didn't but we also really were busy we did a tour we didn't um just go on our own we went to Ireland my mom and I and um, we did a tour, so every day was a full itinerary of things and things to see. And we were stopping at multiple places, multiple cities a day, or towns, I guess. Um, Ireland's not really full of a lot of cities, but it's very pretty. It's really nice there. So I didn't have um, the motivation or the, the energy to do it. I was so exhausted. And when you... Um, I don't know, when you're on the go like that, especially after you're used to sitting home for two years, it is really a lot. And so I honestly, I love to travel. And there was a point during that trip where I was questioning if I would ever be able to do it at that pace ever again, because it was a lot and I wasn't used to it after, you know, we live such busy lives. And then I think that with everything that's happened in the last two years, it's reset us, or at least I feel like I'm reset and... I feel like I'm I'm happy that I'm not so uh, busy all the time. Let them go, go, go. I don't. I'm I'm so happy that I'm not that anymore. I'm gonna put some brown. He doesn't really have any, but I kind of like how this looks. So I'm gonna just drop some of this in too. It's pretty. Kind of gives some interest. This bird, man, this bird is. He's a sad little bird. <laughs> He's a sad little bird. He'll be okay. He's going to be great. I just know it. I'm trying to be very optimistic for my little bird here. Okay. Um, I guess this is pretty. I mixed all three colors together. I've never done that. And I really like this. We actually have goldfinches at our house. Um, I got a goldfinch feeder late last year. And I put it up during the winter. And... We have a really large population of goldfinches that come to our house and they're my favorite. They're so pretty. Yellow's my favorite color and I just think they're these bright, beautiful birds, especially when they start to get their summer colors, their spring and summer colors, when they start to get into the mating season and they look so bright and pretty and that bird's leg is not painted. Whoops. I feel like his eye is going to disappear because of the black around his head too. But in the picture, his markings actually bleed into his, um, we'll get some color into his beak. I think that will be fun to paint. I'm going to put some little orange down here too. I'll need to finish up his little perch, um, his pine needles that he's standing on, I guess. I feel like even though it's really dark at the top, you can still tell his eye is his eye. 
Uh, so that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. As I was worried, and once you lose that spot, it's hard to bring it back. Okay, hopefully he is looking pretty good. I think he is. Now my favorite part is adding the Neo colors. So I'm gonna do that. I'll zoom out a little bit, so. So here's all the Neo colors I have, if you've seen them in the opening. And with these, I just have no rhyme or reason. I just look for colors that I feel like would add to the dimension of what I'm painting. This color is kind of hard to see, but I feel like even a little bit of blue would work into our little bird here. Oh, that's nice. I like that. And these work really nice on wet or dry. I like them on wet paper. I like when the paper's kind of damp and, um, it just adds a little something and because they're a little bit more creamy when the paper is damp and um, they move around really nicely. And the fun thing about this is putting down the colors at the end is just Whatever you feel like, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just a smudge of a drop of color to add some interest. And that's what I love about these new colors. And I find that they just bring the painting to life. They just add that little bit of whatever it's missing, a little bit of interest. I really like, um, I really like how that looks. Yeah, so I guess I will add my label and he could be done. I'm really excited. I feel so accomplished that I did this. I'm so happy. I really, if you've watched this far, thank you for staying and joining me. That really means a lot. It really, really means a lot. So thank you. I don't want to smudge my bird. <laughs> There, my first evening August. I'm so happy I did this. Thank you so much for coming on this journey with me. It means so much to actually get this done and have something on paper and I painted, I painted. Oh my God, I painted. Yes, it feels great. So hopefully I can keep going and do all the birds in August. Uh, be sure to follow me on Instagram. I post all my art over there and I'll post some more videos uh, throughout the month as I work on more birds. I probably won't do all of them, but I'll do, I'll try to do one a week at least uh, so I can do a paint with me. Um, yeah, so if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you're notified as I post more videos to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.